In this video, we'll be showing some advanced maneuvering using our fuel barge. So if I look over to my left, I have my fuel barge. It has about 492,000 liters of diesel in it. The barge weighs about a million pounds. So this will show the towing capabilities of the tractor tug. So first, we're going to put our synced motors, sync and reverse, and we'll modulate using our zero motors command. And we'll just back up to the tug and we'll connect the cable. And we'll let the momentum take us there and we'll head on down. I'll grab our rope anchor and we'll connect it. And we'll head back up. Alright, now we're going to go forward. So we're going to let out some of this stern winch. As we're doing that, we'll set up our thrust. We'll go one or two bars, synced motors, and we'll remove the zero. We'll start heading forwards. So now that our slack is in, we'll go full thrust just to show how fast we can pull such a heavy load. And as you can see, we're going to do about five or six knots pulling this million pound barge. We'll stop our winch and we'll actually reverse the winch. We'll zero our motors and we'll reverse back into the barge and bring in the, in the cable. The barge is caught up to us, so we'll go it and we'll grab it. We'll stop the winch up here so we can control it from down on the deck. Bring it in a little bit more. Shut the winch off and we'll grab the cable. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna go to the side of the barge and we're gonna show the side strafing capability. This would be useful if you wanted to push the barge up against the dock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to the port side away from this jetty. So in order to move behind us, first thing we'll do is we'll rotate our seat around. And we're gonna wanna move to our starboard side, so we'll push out our port azipod, the opposite to the direction we wanna go, so we'll push out the port. And for this, we'll leave the sink on. We'll go one bar. That will give us a nice slow, um, sideways movement. What we'll do is we'll use the zero to modulate the thrust so that we're not going too fast. So we'll just tap the zero off, motors kick up, tap it back, and you see we'll, we, this way we can move nice and slowly and very precise. Motors are kicking on to account for electricity usage. And now we're parallel with our barge so we can reverse. So first thing we do is we're gonna zero azipods. We'll spin our seat around so that we can look at our work. We'll put the both motors in one bar of reverse and we'll just tap to zero and gently move up next to the barge. So it's good to just modulate your zero. Click the zero, let it coast while you're doing these fine maneuvers. You notice that's much smoother. So here we're coming in right next to our barge. And if we just want to push this up to a dock, we can move to, towards the midship, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this 180 degrees. So, we're gonna get set up for that, so we want our outside azipod, in this case our starboard, all the way 90 degrees. We'll do one bar, we'll do one bar to start. We'll move our zero, and we'll just gently tap it so we can make contact with the barge. All right, we're contacted. We're gonna remove our zero, and we'll start pushing. Now, if you notice, we're sliding forward, so what we're going to do is we want to shut off some of the thrust on this port as applied. So what we'll actually do is we'll bring down our starboard, we'll bring down our port, and then we'll remove the sink. And now, as you can see, we're no longer sliding forwards, we're just pushing sideways. So let's go out in third person view, and as you can see, we're gently rotating the barge, and we'll go 180 degrees, and then we'll rotate it back using the cable. So if we wanted to rotate more quickly, we could increase the thrust on, in this case, our starboard azipod. Remember, if we're over 45 degrees, our thrust can be limited to 50%. Now, as you can see, we have a high list angle. This is how a real tractor tug in this situation would list. It's pushing up against the ship and it's gonna use the contours of the hull 
to do this. There are ships that have uh, special uh, shapes that allow the tug not to list, but this type of tug will list. All right, so we're getting towards 180 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start backing off slowly. And you'll notice that sits us down and we'll go ahead and zero. Now we want to move away from the barge. So we can use either the port or starboard as a pod, but we'll use our outside as a pod, which in this case is our port. We'll move that 90 degrees. We'll go ahead and sink, sink them up because we also want to move forwards. And we'll just do one bar. We'll move to zero. And we're going to start to push away from the barge and we'll move forward. All right, and here we go. So now I want to turn a little bit more. So I'm going to use my starboard thrust to start coming up. We'll remove the sink. And as you can see, we're starting to turn. I'm going to zero that port as pod, and I'll actually put that in reverse. That's going to rotate us around nicely, and that will line us up so we can hook up our cable. All right, as we come around, we'll increase the port side to forwards, and we'll actually do a little bit of reverse on that starboard side. We'll center up our seat since we're going forwards, and we'll zero it out. All right, we need to twist a little bit more, so we'll go reverse and forward, and just use differential thrust. And we'll click our zero, and we'll rotate in place. And we'll hit the zero before we think we're going to get there. We'll increase our thrust on that port side, and we'll move towards the barge. All right, let's head down. Now we'll use the front door for the front winch. We're going to grab our cable. We'll attach it. We'll head back in. All right, so we're going to reverse a little bit. We'll keep the engine synced. So we're now in reverse. We'll re release some of this cable. So we'll go bow winch out, remove the zero, and we'll start slowly going back. We're going to hit the zero again, and we'll start getting set up for the maneuver. That looks like we have enough cable there. We have 15 meters of cable. All right, so we're going to want to we're going to do left and we'll reverse that 180 degree turn we've just made. So we'll push this starboard as a pod all the way out. And we're going to keep our port as a pod zeroed. We'll keep one bar on a starboard. Remove the sink, remove the zero, and we'll start by just gently tapping. That's going to give us nice smooth movement. Tap to zero. And as you see, we're starting to take up tension. Now once we have some we have a taut cable going to remove the zero. As you notice, in this maneuver as well, we'll start to list. That is normal. That's how it's supposed to happen. And we can increase the thrust, and we'll start turning this barge. Go back out to an outside view, and as you see, we're starting to rotate the barge. We can add more thrust. We'll increase our list, but we'll also start to increase our turn rate. As you can see, we're starting to turn a little bit faster. We can also start to bring in that port thrust a little bit, and that will help to increase our rotation as well. That port thrust there is going to be pushing. Now, if we wanted to even increase some more, we could bring the port thrust in, but as you'll notice, it's starting to rotate the tug, so we really don't want to do that too much. If we do start rotating the tug too much, we can use that port thrust to steer. All right, we're going to decrease that port thrust. As you can see, we're starting to get ahead of the barge. We're a little bit more than 45 degrees here, and the barge is turning nicely. So we'll just patiently wait for that to go. We'll hit a little bit more port thrust, get that moving a little bit faster. And we'll remove it again. And as you can see, we're very nicely rotating the barge. This is also how you would steer a ship going into port, and this is also how you would break a ship in real life. So we'll just continue until we've hit 180 degrees. And as you see, we just keep modulating that. As you notice, we're pulling the barge with us. If we wanted to rotate more, we'll just keep increasing that port thrust, and that will push us forward towards the barge, and we'll turn more than we are rotating. There we go. All right, we're almost at 180 degrees, so we'll go ahead and we'll zero our motors. 
That concludes the advanced maneuvering tutorial. Thanks for watching.